What is going on people? Welcome back to the YouTube channel. In today's video, I'm going to talk about the five things that I've learned since starting my small business. So I own two small businesses. I'm sure you've heard about it before. You've subscribed to the channel already, but I wanted to break down the five things that I've learned from starting these small businesses. Right. Number one is you'll never fully know what you're doing. This is something that I think I had to learn the hard way. Still to this day, I, I fully don't know what I'm doing. It can feel scary to do new things it can feel intimidating you can feel way out your depth and you can just feel like an intimate it, yeah. you can have that imposter imposter syndrome that's it that's the one i'm looking for you can have that imposter syndrome that is so common from entrepreneurs and from a new business perspective from a small business perspective you think like is this really worth it am i doing the right thing is there uh, sort of viability behind it I'm here to tell you that yes there is there's I did I've done a video about imposter syndrome where I just talk about it in detail if you want to go check that out I will link it below um, but it's completely fine you'll never fully know what you're doing you'll just learn and that's the whole process of it you learn you'll develop and you'll grow and just keep going like that's the one thing I would say to um, someone who's, who's feeling imposter syndrome just keep going like you're, you're where you need to be Number two is you'll feel like your service or product is overpriced. I felt this both times I've done the start of the business. I, I was thinking, God, will people pay £400 for a video? Um, and yeah, they will. That's the that's short answer. Will people pay £17 for a candle? And the answer is yes, they will. Um, can feel really overwhelming to set your prices. And you just instantly go to why would people pay that? what's the purpose like people don't even like me there, there's and in your head you can get really really in your head which um is never a good place to be in and i'm telling you get out of it uh your products are worth it your services are worth it let the market be the deciding factor charge your prices um if you find that you're getting more clients then maybe charge more it, or if you'll find that you're selling more products maybe develop a new higher end range um really look at what you're doing and then and then yeah develop it and and know that you're not charging like really expensive prices um there's probably people charging more and that's where building a brand and developing your business comes in handy number three is you'll meet so many cool people i love finding out about entrepreneurs, whether it's um, digitally or in person now that we can go back and meet each other. I love meeting entrepreneurs. I love discovering about their business. I love learning about their business. I love learning new ideas. I love what they're working on. Um, everyone's got their own takes. Everyone's got their own ideas. Um, but yeah, you'll meet, you'll meet so many cool people and it'll be just a really good experience. Um, shake as many hands as you can. J yeah, just, just get to know as many people as you can. If you're introverted like me, then this can be kind of hard, but do it digitally, like be, um, connect with people, D yeah, develop relationships, build build those out. It's easy enough to do and you can just work your way through it. Number four is you'll learn more by being an entrepreneur than you will from working a job. Simple. <laughs> um, yeah, you you learn so much more. You, you you have to wear so many more hats. You have to do so much more. You're not just like kind of in this little echo chamber where you're just doing marketing or you're just doing branding or you're just doing HR. You're doing all of it. You're 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 the top person. You're the bottom person. You've got to do everything. And this is an excellent way to learn. It's like really challenge yourself to do the things don't say oh i don't do social media or oh i don't do websites learn how to use a website you can build a pretty simple nice looking shopify website if you're an e-commerce store it's not that hard don't put the barriers in place to stop you from learning see it as a learning opportunity see it see this as an apprenticeship like if it doesn't work out and you do need to go and get a job then you've got that knowledge and experience of i've done all of these different things like look at what i've done i've, I've learned how to use shopify i've learned how to build different websites i've learned crm systems i've learned whatever fill in the blank and and you're gonna learn this from from starting your own business um which then is really really transferable into other areas so you might not have like the right 
uh, college or, or university qualifications, but by having the experience, I can tell you that that is so much more valuable than just having a sheet of paper, essentially. Number five, last but not least, uh, yeah, so some days will feel really good and easy, and then some days will feel really bad and really hard. You can kind of plan this, but then life happens and you never know what's going to happen. You never know. Do you know what? You, you might sleep just badly and you just have a bad day, but like don't see it for what it is. And again, don't see the good days for what they are. They, they're just days. Don't go, oh, I've had so many bad days this month or I've had so many good days this month. Um, r- really just, yeah, just keep going, keep iterating, keep going, keep iterating and, and just keep working essentially. Just push through, um, make a plan, keep going. Like have, have big ideas, have really wide and out there ideas, but then also execute on the day-to-day stuff that really moves the needle forward and essentially pays the bills. Don't kind of track it by good day and bad day. Just just see that you will have good days and you will have bad days. You'll have easy days and you'll have hard days. And that's just part and part of the process. That's my five lessons that I've learned from watching a, from watching, from building a small business. But I wanna say thank you so much for watching this video. I really do appreciate it. Like I appreciate you giving me your time and I hope that you found this useful and I hope that you go and start your own small business that grows into something sustainable. That's not a fucking word. I hope that this gives you the little motivation to go and start your own business and yeah, just really grow it and execute. I want to say thank you so much for watching. Good luck and yeah, keep doing what you're doing because you're doing bloody amazing. Goodbye.